Hello internet, welcome to the Doing It Is channel. Today we are going to do DOM manipulations. So to do manipulations, first we have to select the DOM elements. So let's get into it. So we have four methods right here that we can use to select the DOM elements. We have get element by ID, we have get elements by class name, and get elements by tag name, and get elements by name. First thing to note here is the get element by id is the fastest from these lot but it only returns an i only one element so the first time it finds the id of an element then it will return that object so the get elements by class name is will give you all the elements that has a particular class name so let's take a look at this in our editor so I have created a variable called element by id and used the function get element by id. So here I have passed in the id of the element. So I have an id called test hyphen id in this get element by id h4 tag. Okay, so now we should console log this and we should see the object that is in the test id. So let's refresh and we get a h4 and says that it has the test hyphen id. Okay, so if we take a look at this object, you will see a lot of things. We will be using some of the properties and function methods in this object. We'll get into that later on. Now let's select items from the class name. So what I have done is we in the in our object uh, in our HTML page we have uh, classes call md6 in three different divs so i will be getting those classes uh, by using the get elements by id focus there is get elements so we'll get a, a list of objects from this function so let's take a look at that so let's console log that and find out as you can see we get three divs that has the call md6 class the same way is for the get, get element elements by tag name consists of getting elements by tag name so i have passed in the tag name of list li to this function that's all we have to do use the function and pass in the class name if you want to select by class name if you want to select by id pass in the id name and tag name same you have to pass in the tag name so we have a lot of li tags, so we should get a long node list. Yes, we get uh, we get 13 list items. So there's a length property here as well. Okay. And finally, the get elements by name. So the name is an attribute that we can have. So of course, if you have HTML knowledge, you have seen the name attribute in HTML forms. So this JavaScript fun function get elements by name selects the elements for a particular name attribute from a particular name attribute. So I have given a name attribute to this H4 tag get elements by name. So this will be or this will also return a elements uh, node list list of objects. But in this occasion we have only one object because we don't have multiple number of uh, have the element with name attribute in one element okay let's check it out yeah and we get the h4 tag if it ha if we have this uh, name element in another element we will get uh, another object so refresh and we get two okay okay so that is uh, selecting elements selecting dom elements from these JavaScript functions. Now we can use these elements and change the ID property of the element. So let's do that. So let's get rid of this and I'm going to do console log and I can get the ID of this object. So this is the test hyphen ID element we have that is this element right here and if you want to know the ID of that ID of that object we can simply do this, which will give us the value of test hyphen ID. And we get that. Okay, uh, what else? 
so we have we can change this of course so if i change this we are going to change the element id so element by id and dot id equals to new id and if we refresh we get that if you check console inspect element we get that we have added a new id to this element okay so next we have the new class name property the class name property returns uh, the the class names in a particular element so we have elements by class name and we can console log that dot class name this will return a string of class name so if an element has two classes it will say first class name space and the second class name so let's refresh and check that out in the console and we get an undefined value that is because elements by class name has a list of elements but these properties are for one particular object so we have to say which element that we want to use so the call md6 divs we have three of those so let's select the first one and then get the class name of that div yes we get call md6 space another class so this is the class this is the div that we have selected and we get the both classes by the class name property in modern browsers we have a property called class list which which allows us to easily add remove and find out whether a particular class exists on an element so let's do that so let's change this to class list and let's check what we get here you will see in the first in the class name property we got a string here we get a list of objects so call md6 so not objects actually the class names so call md6 is one class and another class and the two classes that we have in this element now we can add elements so i'm going to add and and now adding a class after i add a class let's remove this from the console log edit here and let's check out the list again class list now we should get three classes yes we get column b6 another class and adding a class which is the add we use the add method in the class name property to add a class of course we can do the same to remove it only thing we have to change the name of the method remove which will give us back the two classes and again we can check if an element exists so i'm going to console log this console log and check the check if a class is contained in this element so i'm going to see whether we have call md6 class for this element it will return true because we have the call md6 class if i do call md10 it will return false because we don't have that call md class in this particular div okay so that is the cl class list property of course we can get the tag name of an element as well so simple enough tag name and we get this is the name of the tag will be a div and it will return in caps yes we get that so next we have the inner html and outer html properties inner html will change uh, changed the html of an element inside the element so let's take a look at that so i'm going to use the element by this object and i'm going to change the inner html charles could change you change me and let's take a look at as you can see javascript changed me so if we inspect notice that the h4 tag did not change only the string inside that changed we can pass in of course we can pass in html tags you can see put a p tag there and it will we get the p tag as well what the outer html do it does is it will replace the h4 tag or the containing tag 
So now this is outer HTML. So let's go like this and check. See the H4 tag is now not there because it has been replaced by this P tag. Okay. So that is inner HTML and outer HTML. Next, those are the properties that we most of the time use in JavaScript uh, DOM manipulations. So now these objects that we selected have methods as well. So let's use them. Set attribute is one of those. So we can set attribute, attribute like name, class, ID, any something like that. We can set. So I'm going to use this object again and I'm going to set an attribute set attribute and I'm going to pass in the first step. this expects two parameters the first parameter is going to be something like the name attribute and the second parameter is going to be the value so let's refresh and let's inspect and we should see a name attribute here yes we have the name with the value of value okay so we can't we this does not return anything so there's no point in console log in that. That's why we got the undefined here in the console. Okay, so that is setting attribute. We can remove att attribute as well. So let's remove the name attribute that we added. Refresh and go to the console and the name attribute is not there. And the third method is the has attribute. Similar to the contains method, we can check if a particular element has an attribute. So we can check has attribute. Now we know that this element has the attribute of ID because we have given it the test hyphen ID and we have changed it new hyphen ID. So it should have an ID. So I have made a mistake. Uh, in the remove attributes, it only expects one parameter. So we don't want the value. We only want which attribute that he wants to remove that we want to remove and we just have to pass in that same goes to the has attribute expects only one parameter it is we can have id so this will it's console not this because this is going to return true or false depending on if we have or we don't have an attribute called id since we have it it gives true so let's put class it will return false because we this element does not have a class okay so we covered a lot so this is DOM manipulations this, this is what you can do use to uh, do DOM manipulations so thank you for watching do subscribe hit the like button do share and and have a good day take care